What's up guys, Causeway Giant here and today I'm going to be reviewing the Fungo Pop vinyl of the Imperial Death Trooper from Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Just like the Scar Stormtrooper that I reviewed previously, this one is actually a gift as well, but I'm reviewing it anyway. So let's have a little look at the box here. You can see it's got the standard concept art there of the Death Trooper looking awesome. And on the side it's got that same black speckly pattern, uh, more of the Death Trooper there. And all of those hundreds of thousands of pops is actually only about what, like 12? I don't know, I can't count. Uh, and then say Death Trooper at the top there, but you really, really can't see him well in this box at all. Even in real life, without all the reflections and stuff, it is very hard to see the Death Trooper from outside of the box. So, in box collectors are going to be probably pretty annoyed about that, but I am an out of box collector, so let's have a look at him now. Just like all of the Star Wars pop vinyls, uh, the Death Trooper comes with this base. Oh, cheapers, it's very hard to get him off it. But as you can see, it is removable with a bit of force and it is kind of boring really, I think. So I am just going to leave that over here. And let's take a look at the Death Trooper. Wow, i got to say, this pop looks absolutely incredible. Like, even just standing there, it looks so menacing. So I think it would be a great addition to anybody's Star Wars collection. But let's take a closer look at the body here and go through some of the amazing features of this pop. This pop is pretty much entirely black, so it is kind of hard to see some of the details. But you can see that there is quite a lot of sculpting going along here. Like along there there's those little connecting bits going along his chest and then this kind of little belt buckle with all these tiny little dots sculpted on and they're painted very very clean I love the shiny effect that they used to make the Death Troopers look really, really uh, shiny. Because <laughs> in the movie, you know, they're Krennic's elite squadron, and oh my gosh, they are so cool in the movie. And this pop looks really, really, really just like the ones from the movie. It's even got the O11 there on the back. They Again, just like the Scarf Stormtroopers, they look very, very chunky. I love all this uh, texturing here along the boots and stuff, along the legs. It just looks really, really good. And then the modified E11 that they have is really, really great as well. The little red uh, bits there of the gun and then the big silver barrel going along there. It just looks really, really good. It's such clean paintwork, great sculpting. I love it. And then the helmet just gets even better. Like, it just looks so intimidating. Again, incredible sculpting all along the nose bits here, all these little lines going along. It's such a nice, big, long helmet as well. Like, it's so different to the standard Stormtroopers. All of these big speaker things going along there. And then the little grooves along the sides, got the kind of classic Stormtrooper nodules at the side there and the little bit going along the back. Again, that really, really clean, uh, shiny look to it with the glossy effect. And the slight green tinge to the visor as well kind of makes that stand out. But guys, this just looks incredible. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't describe to you enough how much I love this pop. It's just so cool looking. And anybody who is a Star Wars fan or Rogue One fan or is just appreciative of awesome things, get this pop. It looks incredible. It's got great sculpting, great paintwork, and the shiny effect looks amazing. I think it would look really, really good with two Death Troopers like standing side by side. And then if you had the Krennic pop in front of it, it would just look awesome. So guys, I'm going to give this pop a 9.8 out of 10. Guys, as always, if you enjoyed this review, then be sure to give the video a like. And remember, if you want to see more, then hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Bye!